This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in front of the house, and okay, it just locked. Yes, behind me here you see MG4 long range, and this video we're gonna test how far it can go. It's actually 11 in the evening now, but we have Nordic summers, so yeah, uh, hopefully it's not gonna spend that much. We'll see, I guess. But yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna do the range test. Uh, well, I should show you that we have Continental premium contact the 17 inch 215 50 17 with these aerodynamic rims where uh, is this uh, okay plastic okay well yeah, so i have charged the car to 100 percent wait let me just get inside the car quickly oh there's freaking mosquitoes outside so we charge the car to 100 percent and the car scanner shows 100 percent here also right we should reset and get going to dahl first before we do the consumption tests we are now at Soko K, Ionity, Dahl, and um, look here. From Arlabru to here, the real consumption, no, uh, the consumption 228 multiplied by uh, 47.2 kilowatt uh, kilometer, and then we spend 16%. Right now, it looks like we have 67.3 kilowatt hour. Uh, this is an indication that the state of charge scale is not linear, which means that uh, it's more energy dense on the top versus the bottom. So this is uh, somewhat useful if you want to use the percent scale here to estimate range or whatever. Okay, uh, so now, oops, sorry. Uh, now we will do the, let's let's go for the 120 for test first. Yeah, okay. All right, we're on the move now. So um, uh, yeah, where do I start? Uh, first of all, I have to cruise 122 kilometers per hour. All right, that's fine, but um, the car, drives like a freaking Toyota driver in the curve. It's not even the hard curve here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see, you see how it slows down in the curve? And also another problem is that I already have the screen on the uh, lowest setting or the lowest uh, brightness, but it is still freaking bright. You see, now I adjust it so you can see the screen, right? See how low, how dim this one is. See how dark it looks like it's outside, but it's, it's actually not that bad, so. Yeah, that's a bummer, but yeah, so, all right, and then I'm using Cha, yeah, Cha, is that good? Cha, I'm not sure, but this is called Traffic Jam Assist, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it on the motorway, some people say, oh Bjorn, you're a new band, you're supposed to use it on Traffic Jam, okay, it has some kind of auto steer, and you see, when we're using Cha, this green uh, steering wheel is active, which is like most uh, uh, other systems, but it is, drive the steering wheel is super nervous like it's more nervous than the korean cars typical chinese car but super annoying super nervous look at this yeah and then we'll be like oh you're a noob you're supposed to turn off that thing it's traffic jam assist it's bausch uh, it's uh, stau assist okay if i turn off it and use acc look what happens now then the the, the green steering wheel disappears. This typically indicates that we don't have auto steer and we don't have auto steer. Lane assist is, I mean, sorry, lane keeping assist is on, but this is not lane assist. I will show you why this is not lane assist. It, it does some ping pong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see, this is why it's not lane assist. And now it slows down like a Toronto driver again. And now the screen is way too bright compared to this one or this one. She. Uh, okay, uh, this is going to mess up the high speed test a little bit. We have to slow poke through the tunnel. Wait, both directions? Uh, how the heck am I supposed to measure the high speed test then? Wait, we have to try it from another stretch. Yeah. Alright, let's check the weight at least. Front axle. Zoop. 880, ooh, but it should be rare heavy because it's river drive. Wow, 1,800, nice. Okay, uh, we just start from this starting position instead. 
you see it's right at minus one and then we draw north a loop and then back again so i'll just reset the trip meter and then we try another 120 test and how's the girls of the day oh very little wind all right that's good uh we're now at tongan uh in circle k in non um we have to redo the test uh, 120 test um because um there was another slowdown i saw it on the opposite side so let me see if i can see it it was even shown here but i didn't see it until we passed wait wait where did it go now Shit, wait, wait, whoa, oh, oh. Huh? Wait, it's not visible. Well, it was here. Maybe they dis maybe it disappeared already. There was a, there was a road construction or something there, slow down. So, um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, we are here now. We will drive <laughs> further north a little while. You see, they show up as little things here, right? Uh, okay. It was only, uh, I think it was only another one here. Oh, okay. So we we'll drive a little bit further north. We take another loop here and then try to end up here. And then hopefully we get 120 test. Okay, let's go. We are now at Hama and uh, yes, let's turn around here. So I'm going to show you that over here, it's freaking 22 degrees Celsius outside. What? At midnight, you know, fun fact, a uh, tropical night or troop is troopenot, what they call in Norwegian. You know, uh, normally it's defined as as long as the temperature does not drop below 25 degrees Celsius, that is called troopenot, normally. But in Norway, because it's so cold in general, then we redefine it and say that the Nordic tropical night is when the temperature doesn't drop below 20 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a little troopenot tonight. Okay, now we head back. And hopefully we won't run into any Baustelle. All right, 225 watt hour per kilometer, but I measured from the 1000 kilometer challenge that we have 2.4% under reporting. So that means that the consumption is 2.4% lower than this. All right, let's do the 90 test. Okay, so I put on Cha. The car is driving for me, kind of. We have Stau situation here, going at 90 kilometers per hour. But let me just test the sound system out to show you guys this. Okay, uh, wait, there. Whoa. Um, rattling from the back, rattling from the partial shelf. Whoa. A lack of details, the, the sound system, so, it sounds muffled. I, I can't even see where the tweeters in the front are. Uh, do we have any tweeters here at all? Yeah, we have there. Okay. They are in the front there. But it seems to be poor spread of sound here, really. A little bit there, a little bit there, down there, a little bit in the back that rattles. Okay, next. Oh, this one. You guys have heard it many times before, right? Well, how is this song in this stereo system? What? Uh, the first thing I noticed is that the bass is quite boomy. It lacks the, the punch, the deep bass. It's boomy. Uh, okay, next song. Okay, here usually I will listen to some uh, uh, rattling in uh, the door. Hmm. Okay, let's see that. Yep, they're rattling from the back, the partial shelf. <laughs> okay, new song here in the test. What? There seems to be, there seems to be like a cut off at a hundred hertz. You know, there's like a what do you call it, daily filter. Um, I, I can't remember the, the, the English version of it. Um, um, yeah, pass, low pass. Wait, high pass filter. Seems like everything below hundred hertz is just 
cut out with a 12 decibel uh, decrease. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can we skip it a little bit? Okay, listen, listen. What the frunk is going on here, man? Okay, this is niche good. If I would give this stereo system uh, points, wait, are we? Do we? Is this uh, is this scale signed or unsigned? Oh shit, it's unsigned. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give it two points then. All right, is that good? Two point. We okay. All right, let's see. I'm gonna test some coasting now. I have to wait until we have. Uh, Region active. I'll put the coin neutral. Wait, wait, wait. There, there, there. Wait. Can I put it in neutral? There, there, there. there. You're okay. Now we're in neutral. All right. Gaining speed. Lost a little bit initially, but okay. We should have tailwind nowadays because I think we have warm wind from the south. Okay, speaking of speed, but not that much. Hmm. Are we gonna set a new record? Uh, let me see, we don't have that much mass, so that's a small disadvantage. Ideally, you wanna have a heavy car with good drivetrain efficiency, low friction in the uh, in the drivetrain, in the wheels, in the gearbox, in the uh, wheel bearings. And also, wait, low drag coefficient. Uh, this one has, 0.27 to 0.287, which might not be the best. Uh, yeah, and it's not that heavy. Okay, okay, we're not gonna set any records here. I think the record is still. Uh, was it uh, Skoda Enyaq uh, Coupe? Okay, okay, that's it. Well, I mean, okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. This <laughs> already over here. What? Uh, okay, well, is that, you can say it's a new record, the shortest um, coasting distance. We just turned around at Brumenal and now we're heading back south. And, you know, when we are cruising at 90 kilometers per hour, Cha works a lot better now. It is as if the Chinese people have uh, designed this car to drive slow. Hmm. Okay, consumption so far is 155 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, that's good. I think that's very close to the result in Thailand. We'll see by, by the end of the test. So yeah, we just have to get back to the starting point again. Okay, result of the 90 test, 157 watt hour per kilometer. Mm, not too bad. Okay, we need to correct for 2.4%. Okay, so now we need to drive the car until it's almost empty then. We are heading back now, south, towards Oslo, and um, I'm going to show you something here. We will look here now. Distance we have versus consumption versus how much we spent on the battery. Right now it looks like we have around 64 kilowatt hour. Uh, earlier it looked like we had 67.3 kilowatt hour. So this is uh, an indication that the state of charge scale is not linear, uh, which means that once we go even closer to zero, then uh, the net capacity is going to be even lower, or the estimated net capacity. Yeah, and that's the true value. The deeper you go, the better it is. Uh... We are now at Circle K Furizat. So here's the total stats. 311.8 kilometers done, okay? And then we have 1% or 2 kilometers left, so what I will do is I take two kilometers added to this one and then if we take that multiplied by that then you get the battery capacity which is 62.1 uh, kilowatt hour so yeah that is a little bit lower than the, the claim 64 kilowatt hour but the uh, that uh, two kilowatt hour difference is most likely just heat loss because of charge I mean because of discharging or driving so, all right, let me crunch the numbers and find out how far this car can go, at least. So, if we compare this MG4 with the one I tested in Thailand, we see that we have the exact same tire and the same tire dimension, and the consumption is almost the same. Weather conditions also almost the same. So, you see, the difference here is only in the kilowatt hour, because that one was the 51 
kilowatt hour this one is uh, 64 so yeah uh, you get more range out of this battery it also charges faster but the 51 kilowatt hour is not that bad also i mean this is a cheaper battery i mean cheaper car smaller battery but it's lfp which is better for longevity so uh, yeah uh when it comes to consumption i have to say yeah it's uh, it's a fairly efficient car it's not the most efficient one it's not as efficient as tesla or the mmb cars but still pretty good but it seems like in uh, at high speed it takes a little bit of penalty or uh, because of poor drag but uh, yeah it is decent when it comes to range at least and of course charging for 1000 kilometer challenge and so on so yeah um how good is this car in general seats are fairly good uh, i don't feel too sweaty in here steering wheel is nice and thick i like it ride is awesome it rides almost like a german car also this one but also the same as the one in thailand and then uh, when it comes to software okay there are some improvements there that can be done but uh, they have also done some improvements in this current software versus the one i tried in thailand so if they can just try to fix even more with the software, then we have a killer. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.